Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing the um, Lowland Lounge Sweats and I'm going to be doing the shorts version. I'm actually going to be doing two of these um, for a matching sibling set for my kids. So for my older um, son, I'm going to be doing the shorts and for my daughter, who is two, I'm going to be doing the shorties version. So I'll talk about the two of those. Um, so I did go by measurements because, um, my, both of my kids are on the skinny side. So I went with the five T for the shorts and then for his waist, I actually printed out a two T, um, so that it's nice and snug, not too loose. Um, I always recommend, um, if you're doing things, especially for your kids, um, doing measurements, you're just going to get a better fit all around. Um, so we're going to have two of these um pants cut out and then one of these on a fold for the waistband and i'll show you what that looks like in just a second i got to mention what kind of fabric i'm using i'm using um mla um the new french terry there are two types of french terries right now and um an old original and then the new kind this new kind is um a lot brighter it's still soft it has a little less stretch than the um the last um the original french terry but um i mean it's true to a french terry which i love it's got a really nice weight to it not too thick not too thin okay guys here is the um cut out pieces um this is our waistband you can see that it's obviously very tall that's because it's going to be a fold over waistband um we have our two main pieces and what I did is it was supposed to be cut, um, we do two opposites, which meant that I just folded over the fabric once and then cut them out and you get two pieces that are opposite. And now I'm gonna do um, the shorty Here version. are the pieces for the shorty version. We've got our fold over waistband, um, our cuffs because the shorties have um, little cuffs on them and I actually cut in half the um pattern piece because I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like with that side seam rather than um it being one big piece but um I did not do that on the shorts version so you'll be able to see um how that kind of works out so we're gonna do the shorty version first get all our pieces so to start, I'm going to go ahead and sew these, um, all the bands. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and fold it over. And then we'll fold it downward once more. And we will sew this short raw edge and for our cuffs we will do the same thing fold over long ways once and then downward once and sew this short raw edge and this is called the ham hot method this is what I do for all of my bands I just prefer this method um because when you unfold it which I will show you here in a minute it will already be a complete band okay here are our bands finished and see we're just gonna pull them right sides out pull them baby and see perfect little band right there okay so now that we're done with our bands let's go ahead and get our main pieces and um if you did it normally they would be connected about like that, but I did not because I wanted them um, as separate pieces. So we'll put them right sides together, the back right sides together, and I believe this is the front, front right sides together. And we're gonna sew that curve on both of them. Okay, now that we have those um, middle pieces our middle edges um, sewn together. We're gonna take, open these up and lay them on top of each other 
and we're gonna sew the side seams and the crotch. Okay, now that we've sewn all those edges, we're gonna add our bands. So we've got our leg bands and then this waistband. Okay, and here they are. I got all the bands on and I will say that I did have to stretch um, the waistband to fit these quite a bit, but that's normal. Undo these and this is a fold over waistband, remember? So there is the finished product. So easy, so quick. Um, you can leave them like this or I'm gonna add a little extra detail. I'm gonna take um, some twill tape and um, sew it right here just to kind of add the illusion of a drawstring. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. So here's what it looks like after I attached that um, kind of faux drawstring. I just did it in the middle of where it fold, um, the fold over um, waistband would be. And I also kind of at the last second decided to top stitch around here because um, that seam kept flipping up kind of weird and it was really bugging me, but that is totally optional. Um, so let's fold this down and because that's how it's going to look when you wear it. And that is the finished Lowland um, lounge sweats and the shorty version. So now I'm going to do the shorts version. So I'm gonna start just like I did on our last pair with the waistband. So I'm gonna fold it over widthwise, halfway, and then fold it down once more and sew this short raw edge. Okay, so here are two main pieces. Um, I am actually gonna mark where the back is because um, it can get kind of confusing um, when you're working with it. So you can see that it kind of um, slants. It's a little hard to tell but um we're gonna put a mark on the higher side which is the back so that i know that that is the back and then i'm going to oops i didn't cut that all the way through i'm going to put these right sides together And we're going to sew these two curved edges. So now that you've sewn those curved edges, um, I am gonna go ahead and um, hem the bottom right here. I prefer to hem flat rather than in the round. So it's really, up to you which one you prefer. If you hem in the round, you're gonna um, sew this crotch first and then hem these bottom edges, but I'm hemming flat, so I'm not gonna sew the crotch first. I'm gonna hem first and then sew the crotch. Okay, so those are hemmed. So now I'm gonna sew this crotch. So now I'm gonna take my trusty knit picker which if you've seen any of my other videos, I use this literally all the time. And I'm going to secure these tails. See, I just pulled it through. If y'all want a more detailed, um, separate video of how I use this, I kind of explain it in other videos, um, but I can certainly make a standalone video for this, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. There. And so now to finish, you're gonna add our waistband. And remember I cut a different size of the waistband because my son um, is real skinny, he's really skinny and tall. So 
Um, and this fabric, this new um, French terry, it doesn't stretch um, quite as much as say your rib or your double brush poly. So I'm not actually gonna be able to stretch this to fit this wide um, opening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around with my serger and I'm gonna gather this top edge to fit um, my waistband. And so over here at um, our serger, what I'm gonna do to gather, oops, is I'm gonna put my needles at about, let's do a seven and we'll kind of see what that looks like. Um, we're gonna put our differential feed all the way up to two. And I'm actually gonna put my stitch um, length to four. And we're gonna see how that looks. So as you can see, that gathered um, pretty well, just enough for me to fit this waistband in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and serge the waistband to um, the main pants. All right, so that ended up working out perfectly. Now I did cut off um, most of the gathering stitches that I did because I want, want it to be able to stretch. So I think I did good cutting those off. Yeah, flip these inside out. And here we go. I am also going to add a drawstring here in the middle, just like I did on that first one. I'm not gonna top stitch this time because um, I think it looks fine. And I'll be right back. And here are the short version of the um, Lowland lounge sweats all done up. So super easy, super quick. That literally did not take me hardly any time at all, cut to finish. So I highly recommend this pattern, super cute. Here is it with the shorties version. I'm gonna try and get my kids to take a picture with these on later. We'll see how that goes. You can check it out um, on the MLA Facebook group if you're not already a part of that. And thanks for watching.